Hello everyone and welcome to Best Side Cycling. In this video, we're going to go over the 52nd edition of the Chili Hilly Annual Ride hosted by Cascade Bike Club. This is a fantastic journey that goes from Seattle to Bainbridge Island for a 33 mile loop where you will be joined by thousands of other riders for a whole adventure of beautiful sights, lots of scenery, and of course, hills. So join me in this full walkthrough of this event and experience the Seattle Classic for yourself. So our adventure begins here at the Seattle Ferry Terminal bright and early in the morning for the second 8.55 a.m. ferry. With over 2,000 riders showed up, this was going to be a blast with all these people signed up, picking up their bibs, and after that, rolling in and getting ready to get onto the ferry. This just shows you a little bit of the scale of just how many people were here today on their bikes, ready to brave uh, whatever weather brought before them. So with that in mind, I wanted to just ask a little bit around about how people are feeling about this ride. Hi, my name is Alan Olson. This is about my 10th Chili Hilly, and I'm looking forward to finishing. <laughs> How does today compare to the ones you've done in the past? This is actually very nice. Nice. Okay. And what kind of one of the main things you're looking forward to at the end? Uh, something warm. Like uh, something <laughs> like chili. Something like chili. Yeah. So how many times have you ridden chili hilly? Zero. 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 All right. So what are you looking forward to, and what are you? How do you feel about this ride? I'm uh, looking forward to. I mean, look at the energy here. This is going to be fun. Just a bunch of people on bikes in a good mood. <laughs> uh, and I'm scared that I'm gonna freeze my butt off. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be cold. Yeah, don't feel a cold. How do you feel about the hills? Oh yeah, that'll suck too. But uh, okay. but I'm gonna have beer afterwards, so it's gonna be it's gonna be all awesome. yeah. And chili. All and right. chili, yeah. So after a short wait, it's finally time to get on this boat. And really, this is one of the main highlights of this whole ride event. Sort of like if you entered into an upside down world where everyone commutes by bikes, and we fill these boats and ferries filled with people and their two wheels. Let's check out all the bikes here. So uh, there's a ton of people here today. I'm seeing bibs into the 2000s and yeah, we have all the bikes just lined up here all along the railing, all along on the ground. It's just bikes on bikes right now. So we can go take a look and see what, how, what we have going on right here. Yes, uh, everyone's just getting situated right now and we are getting ready to go. So everyone is now seated upstairs as your ferry ticket is basically included with your bib. Uh, this is a 35 minute crossing from Seattle to Bainbridge Island and even outside of this event This is an experience I would recommend to anyone so after a little bit It looks like we're almost there to Bainbridge Island So let's take a look at out the front of the boat It's actually turning into pretty nice conditions today with a lot of Sun actually so uh, Only thing I think we might have to worry about today is just wind So let's go out and see what it's actually gonna end up being like as we made it to the dock on the other end this whole experience of getting off the boat Boat and riding up the initial hill is one to behold as you can just see all the number of different riders all just starting to get along their ride this is definitely the part that's going to be the most crowded throughout but for me also my personal favorite as how many times can you find this many people willing to climb a hill all together in one go and with that our 33 mile loop around the island begins now I just gotta say that this first part of the ride, the northeast section was going swimmingly. We had a tailwind, people were doing super well up these hills, and up ahead here is even Frog Rock, a really notable fun point to take a picture with. And as we get going here again, I just want to show what it was like to ride with this many bikes on the road. There was a poor car here that sort of got stuck in the middle of us. They were being super respectful, but yeah, this just shows sort of just how you were surrounded by cyclists no matter where you went. 
as uh, we do even when we encountered the state route crossing here we had Cascade who organized police for a safe crossing as well as a really nice midpoint stop that's only about five miles away but what stood us between here and there are a couple of good pitches of hills as you can see basically along the course where a lot of people start to collect is where all the hills are and I'm really thankful that the weather turned out at least sunny so I could use my drone again today to show what it's like to climb some of these hills. This one is Arrow Point Drive. At only 100 feet, it's not very tall, but it definitely gets super steep closer to the end. So I think it's a memorable one as people ride through here. But I, if you haven't followed this channel before, is a connoisseur and lover of all kind of hills, especially the steep ones. So you can take a low note at some of my other videos, but I just want to make a mark here. If you've been enjoying this video so far, please roll the like button and subscribe. I think for this particular ride, I went sort of above and beyond to document as much as I could could of the ride itself uh, so I could uh, really give a new perspective and picture of what it's like to do this ride so if you've been enjoying it please ring that bell icon too for good measure it really really does go a long way as you can sort of see I'm pretty much fully loaded today with all my camera equipment and even a fanny pack so I had quicker access to some of my filming equipment this will come in super in handy later as it's going to get real windy into the later parts of the ride. But for now, let's head over to the midpoint and take a quick rest because I'm gassed after that climb. So here we are at the rest stop at Battle Point Park and if Cascade Bicycle Club is an expert at anything, it's definitely setting up very good rest stops for cyclists. As here we have REI with a service booth and then up ahead is all the food, water and such. They've definitely sort of over the years perfected in terms of what works best in terms of nutrients for people. There's also a heavy investment from local communities such as here we have Spinnaker Chocolate giving out free cocoa. All in all, just a great time as I see people resting up. But the only thing you can avoid at these rest stops typically is a washroom line. And at this point, I wanted to take some time to check and see how some of the other riders are doing. Uh, I'm Luke. Yeah, so how's your ride going? Good, it's been chilly, it's been hilly, the sun's trying to peek out. <laughs> yeah, how did you, how did you think, how did it compare to what you think it would go for? Yeah, what, they meet expectations? It meet expectations, I'm more fit this year than last year I did it, so that's been nice. I saw you yeah, on the video. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, well, how do you feel about the rest of the ride? Good, feel strong. All right, we got this. My name's Tracy. And Jeff. Mm. Nice, so how's your ride going? It's going amazing. Yeah. Cascade Bicycle Group rocks. Uh, uh, what were you expecting this morning before coming through and doing everything? Uh, we, we did it last year and there was snow, so this year is uh, a lot easier. So <laughs> Awesome, how are yeah. the hills treating you guys? Um, she's riding the hills much better than I am, so. <laughs> yeah, what's your favorite part about the ride? Um, meeting people like you and afterwards enjoying the town and just getting with other cyclists. All right, last thing, yeah, what would you want other people to know about this ride and how you're enjoying it today? They should come out and enjoy it because the ferry ride's terrific and all the people are terrific, including you. And, and, oh. and don't be afraid of the weather. Don't be afraid of the weather because yeah. you might end up like this. I might have spoken too soon because either more of the windstorm rolled in or the southwest part of the island being more exposed uh, that th the wind was going to be a big problem but before we get to that we're going to encounter here first baker hill at 300 feet tall this is the longest and tallest climb that you encounter on the route so you'll see a long single file of riders going all along i was a bit nervous that uh, my drone would get in the way of other people but i find that when it comes to filming these sort of things going uphill is definitely the way as everyone's just going slow and steady and that's really the key to doing these climbs you just need to find your rhythm and just keep at it as I just see all sort of things uh, drone even I don't think he actually touched the drone but I think it just uh, detected him underneath so it just shot up into the air I think so it was sort of fun a lot of people noticed it in the background and uh, using it as even motivation and someone called it the snitch and they were chasing after the drone while I was just focused on making sure that I was still being tracked and with that I got to notice a lot more of the other riders around me all just really upbeat positive making work of this hill even if they had to walk it 
uh, they knew they were going to definitely finish this course as definitely the weather being as dry as it is this time uh, really I think stood out within the past few years of this event running and just with a few more pedal strokes we make it to the top where I make it my duty now to cheer on the next people that are coming up all right good job good job oh <laughs> almost there you got it all right good good nice <laughs> Thank you. Good work, Lou. High five. We'll try. As close as I. Oh, woo! Nice. Good work. Day, you can just see and feel how windy it is uh, all the tides are moving it's still surprisingly so much nicer than I expected giant blue clouds here and everything so let's hear some people riding enjoying this day everyone making sure to keep their hands on the bars as it was extremely windy but even so I was super glad to see some members of the fold some Bromptons here riding as well as from the next part of the course I couldn't even muster 10 miles per hour it's hard to really describe I usually have a terrible time with winds but this is where my super heavy bike is really helping me today as I'm able to just barely keep uh, going straight but much to my need uh, there was another group that passed by so even at like a bike link sort of safe distance away it made a huge difference with this killer headwind so really big props to these guys as we just kept going through rolling on town and then something I saw that was really endearing was Danny who was standing there by the road giving high fives to all the cyclists uh, from my understanding he's been a staple for this ride so I'm really glad that there's people like him cheering all of us on tackling these headwinds as you round the bend in the South Island things eventually calmed down with some more cover but the hills remained as you ever you saw these steep pitches of course you see collections of cyclists and I'm gonna have to sort of confess that one of my guilty pleasures is to climb a hill as fast as I can whenever I do see uh, people ahead of me so that's sort of what I try to do here with whatever energy I have left to muster but everyone is doing super well and really just tackling these hills at their own pace and then after a while here, the only part I want to call about this section of the course is this nice viewpoint that we're going to soon approach as I didn't even notice until I noticed this big crowd coming out on the right. And with about 5 miles left to go and this beautiful backdrop, figured I'd check in with some of these riders. Hi, I'm Camilo. How's it so far? How's today? Beautiful, beautiful. Yes. Beautiful, this yeah. This probably the best one from <laughs> the, the best one, why is that? Yeah, look at the view, the ferry. Back there, it's beautiful. And how about the ride itself? How is your, how is the hills treating you it, today? It's, it's, it's very hard. <laughs> it's, it's very, very hard, hard but, yeah. but worth it? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Cool. What, yeah. what would you want other riders to know about this particular event? Uh, prepare yourself for the ride, for the hills, for the weather, uh, but also to enjoy life. Okay. These beautiful views. I'm Jeremy Cole. Nice. I see you have an e-bike today. How's that treating you? Pretty good, pretty good. Has it uh, made all the hills super easy? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> all right. It would if I wasted all the battery, but then I wouldn't make it home. And what's your, what's, what's your favorite part so far? The downhill sections. The downhill sections, nice. They're amazing. And anything you would want other people to know about this ride? Do it. Just do, do it. it. You awesome, can do it. perfect. And with just a few miles to go, let's put our heads down and make it to the finish line so we can finally enjoy that chili. So we're here at the Cascade finish line. It's another great chili hilly. A ton of people are rolling in. So yeah, now it's time to go get some chili. Here's the same chili feed. And there's already a line. <laughs> and it's time for a chili review. So let's see how it goes. It's really good. 10 out of 10. 
<laughs> especially after all those climbs. How, how's the chili? Chili's pretty good. Nice. It's so nice it's and nice and warm. How's the chili out of 10? 11. 11 out of 10. All right, out of 10, the chili. It's actually 15. 15, <laughs> wow. And last one here, how's the chili? I'll go middle with 13. <laughs> All right, here we got a real favorable review. Here we are at the finish line with more people coming in. And yeah, I really love just hearing from all of you. That's my favorite part of just running this whole YouTube channel. So with that, let's catch up with some of these riders and see how their whole experience went. Yeah, how was your ride today? Uh, it's really fun. Yeah, well, how, did, how did it go? Uh, oh. I think it went really well. It's, it's really pretty windy. windy. <laughs> Wind is super strong, but thankfully it's not too cold. Yeah. And the sun is out. Nice. Yeah, anything you would want people to know about this ride if they haven't done it before? Uh, they should do it next year. Got an awesome setup. How was the ride today? It was really good. Um, yeah, you know, making up the hills was pretty tough. I wish I <laughs> changed the gearing. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. You have fun? Sure. Thumbs up if you have fun. Was fun. it fun? Uh, yeah. yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah, there you go. Can you say best side? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Best side, there you go. A fan in the yeah. making. We have Randy again. We met him at the very beginning. He said that this was his very first time. So yeah, tell us how to go. Humbling. Humbling. Um, <laughs> it's such a good way to start the year. And like, you know, you look around and like, this is the world I want to believe in. People are super stoked to bike and it's beautiful out. Everybody's happy. Right. The weather is a little miserable, but you know, people are still <laughs> in a really good mood. So what was the biggest, uh, biggest surprise? Uh, or were there any surprises? No, uh, well, I mean, uh, I mean, we called Bainbridge Pain Bridge, so I was prepared for <laughs> okay. pain. Uh, so. Okay, so it sounds like it got better than that. What was your favorite part then? Uh, the chili. The, the chili. chili. Like, I had lowered expectations of the chili. Highly recommend. All right. Do it for the chili. And then what would you want other first-timers or to-be first-timers to know about this ride? Um, that it's really fun. Yes. Yeah, it sucks occasionally, but yeah, but it's overall, it's it's really fun. It's really fun. I think everyone should do it. Awesome. Everyone should do it and support like a good organization like this. So perfect. All yeah. right, thank you so much. Okay. It's and with that, it was time to head back home to Seattle. So let me know what you thought of this video. Did you ride in Chili Hilly this year? Would you ride, ride it next year uh, after watching this? And let me know what you thought of how this video was. I mean, the interviews and everything is pretty different than what I usually do, but I wanted to make the most of having all of you around. And I find that my own experiences now, uh, my perspective probably doesn't match the average rider all the time. So yeah, let me know all your thoughts, welcome your feedback. And with that, uh, that's all I had for this video. So I'll see you all in the next one.